Hey everyone, how are you? Just let you know, sorry about the background noise. They can't see you. Hi. Say hi, Zaire. Hi. Now, today I'm going to show y'all the centerpiece that I'm going to make today. He may come in and out the video. I don't even care at this point. I'm just excited to make this. All of this you can get from Dollar Tree for $1.25 except for the E6000 glue. And, of course, some other stuff. I'll list it down in the description box. So, and, let's go ahead and get started. And today we're making a mirror box. That's what he called it. So, let's get started. <laughs> Go ahead and show them the mirror. This is the mirror. Okay. This means it's too bright. Uh, but duh, and show them this. And you got cardboard to make a, to make a mirror in a box. Show them the flowers. And we, and we got flowers to put inside the mirror box. Mm hmm Now, where is everything else? Hold on, let me start it. And today I we got a food sponge. Yeah, I got, watch out so they can see. They can't see with them big head in the water. They didn't clean none of the mirrors at all. But one of the things that I will have to do. Clean them. No. I got these little. Cardboards. Yeah, artist canvas from Dollar 25, like he said. So my goal is. To make the, a no. mirror box. Yes, that's the goal. But we're going to put tape on it so that way it can be our base. To give it to Grandma Barber. Yes, we're going to give it to Grandma Barbara. Tape it up. Give me a second, dig it. No, not right there. Where do you put it at? Can I put the tape on it first? Yeah. Guys, we're going to glue it up and we're going to put them together. And Not yet. I'm going to wait till this glue gun gets hot. That, and it can burn, people. Well, I mean, yeah, it can. If it touch glue, it burn you. Yes, it does. But in the meantime, while I'm getting the glue gun hot, show them this needle nose up close. And you got these needle nose. We just make now, it. Now, come here. Now, show them this black piece right here. No, no, show them that black piece right there. In the black piece is right here. And there's the barcode. Now, what I'm basically trying to tell him is to show y'all, if y'all can see, this piece right here. We're going to move your hands. They are going, we're going to clip it out gently and slowly. Okay, just not that fast. Mm-mm. I know so fast. So the goal is to clip all these pieces out. Boom, 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 boom. Which is it's not hard because I'm twisting it out. Clip this one. Get the next one. Next one. See how I got the pieces out. I want the biggest one. 
one. Let's see. You create it. And I don't know how to flip them off. Well, you do know how. You're just not strong enough. I have to eat to get muscle. Um, eating ain't got nothing to do with. We gonna clip these off, like I just said. This boy said he got to eat something to See? get muscle. Because I can't. It should be hot enough, so Ow. we gonna take the glue where the tape is at right now. But I want this to stay together. That. Hey everybody! I just had to pop in. As I had already said before in the beginning screen, I had to um redo it over again but this slide here i had to cut it a little bit because who wants to see me doing this for two minutes straight and mess up the board anyway let's be real so only thing that i did on the first part of it is as you can see hot glue gun e6000 tape and try to wrap around it so if you don't see me doing the next one, it's because I try to cut it because who needed a, a three minute video long of me and my son arguing back and forth about gluing, taping and everything else. And I'm going to rip it off anyway. So I just had to cut in and just to say that. So back to the video. Stop, stop. Hmm. Because I wanted this to be flush, but this for some reason is not going to work. Not to my standards anyway. Let's wait for it to dry off. Mm, it's not. It, it's not going to hold up to my standards. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. It's not going to hold up. Sorry, guys. What you sorry for? Because you're messing it up. So, it's called trial and error. They're going to see the trials and error until I get it right. Because it's not going to hold up. But it's called trial and error for a reason. Let me shake this. And this is how that is shit. You took the glue! It's flying off. Okay, we can try this again. Put water in there. That's not water. In the oven? Go ahead. Okay. Make sure you don't touch it. Oh. Oh, what did you create? You're welcome. In the oven? And if this glue would make the game hot. Okay. And now? Now let's see some. Now that has to dry. Now let's wait for it to dry. We will be back. Hit the pause button. Enjoy my little blazing of joy. I cannot wait till I have my next blazing of joy, June the first. And the sun would be gone. The sun's gonna be gone. What are you talking about? Look, ask the people that. So the way how I'm gonna do it, the pieces that we cut out, we're gonna try to line it up. So I'm trying to line it up according to what would make sense to me. You could come in the video, son. So I want it to do it like this. They already seen them. So you're going to glue this right up onto the poster board.
in the next clip, like I was explaining, I was using popsicle sticks to make it even. So if you look at the up, up the opposite side of the uh, mirrors, you'll see the two mirrors that's already hanging up. I have put down maybe one, two, three, four, five, six pop popsicle sticks all together. I glued them down with some hot glue gun so that way, with some hot glue so that way it won't move at all. And then I took the mirrors and I placed it on top. You have to remember that because we overlap the whiteboards together, it's going to be kind of uneven. So I was trying to even it out. So just had to pop in and tell you that in the video. cutting back in again into the video now keep in mind we can keep this mirror box looking just like this of course cut off the extra white piece with something very sharp and paint the edges black so that way you won't see the edges being white at all and then my only suggestion that i would say that y'all should do is of course add a little bit um e6000 or a hot glue on the outside so it can hold set for 24 hours and plus i would say add some gemstones or something or flowers so that way you won't see the outside of where the glue is at at all and of course add flowers inside of it and like i said before set for 24 hours and there go your mirror box or you could continue on doing the work that i was doing back to the video so of course Going to be cut so keep that in mind so 
cut this piece off. I'm going to use my little um, slice and dice thing that I got from Dollar Tree. I have let this set for two days so that way it's dry so it's sturdy enough so nothing should happen. I already started off gluing on the other side because I wanted to get my placement and stuff right so this is what the other side looks like. Sorry about the glare and all that other stuff. Yeah, I gotta clean the mirror. I already know. Now I gotta tell the way. The mirror gotta get clean. But for now, what I want you to do is take whatever flowers that you have, of course, clip the tip of your flower, and then once you clip the tip of your flower with your needle nose, then you insert the loop right through it. So I left these two out, of course. So right up in here, we're going to pull this apart, take this hot glue, and we're going to do like two little droplets of it, two little small droplets, and we'll take this leaf, and we're going to insert it where the hole is in, see like that, hopefully I can see that. Let that dry, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. So we're going to let these two dry. Once those two dry, let me show y'all. Once these two pieces dry, as you can see with this tip right here, hope you got that tip right there, you want to take your needle nose and you want to clip that tip off as small as possible. So that way you can glue it onto your box. So now, all I'm doing now is taking a little bit of hot glue gun, of course. Well, hot glue, let me stop saying hot glue. Gun. Hot glue, and then I'm gluing it down to the side. Now, I know y'all not going to be able to see it, so I do apologize. Okay, let's see. And I count to 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Trying to get the camera to come down. There we go. Because y'all don't get to see my face like that. And I'm going to repeat the steps going up on the corner. Because we're trying to cover up where the glue is at on the corner. So I did four um, little white flowers. Um, going up to the side to cover up the glue because like I said you don't want nobody to see that at all count to 10 seconds hold and keep repeating the steps now I'm going to shut up and let y'all watch
No, I'm not going to rip it out the plastic. I think I got about at least 20 of these because I want the flowers to sit up a certain type of way. So now we're just going to place these in here. Alright, so I'm going to place these in here. Like I said, I'm too lazy. I'm not even going to rip it out the plastic. I ain't even going to hold y'all to it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Then again, I may have to rip it out of plastic just because. I don't want to bust the box. So the middle part, I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, Rip this out. Something that I didn't want to do. Okay. Yeah. 
hoping that my skin did not, you know. Your skin is not so from asking. And they can squish them and they can break. Uh, I don't want you to break, baby. If you put a flower in there, it will. If you put flower in there. That's the whole goal. If you put flowers in there, it would put a hole. Yes, that's the goal. But this took two or six. What you put in there? Now, could so, you fit in there? Uh uh, that's too good. Could you fit in there? I'm helping. Yeah, my son is helping me. So it took two, four, yeah. six, eight. You need to put a watch. So, with it being in plastic steel, it will take eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, it will take fourteen of these. Careful. How do I do this? So I won't break it? Yes. Hope you want it. Okay. Now I got all my flowers and I placed it, all the green stuff in there. I have to clip the flowers I use. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't even know. Clip, clip. Yep. So I'm going to start with these. Like I said, I got different flowers. So. Clip, clip, clip. You want to clip this one? I'm going to clip whatever one I'm going to clip. Ooh. Clip, 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 clip. So now your goal ah. is just to clip it. Make sure the stems is long enough. Use your needle nose like I tell y'all all the time. And then you just want to fix and arrange the flowers in there accordingly. Um, not like that, no. no. Not like that? No. Oh, wait. This will do that. No, no, no. When you rearrange your flowers, you got to rearrange it accordingly to style. Why? So stop trying to stick them in the middle is what I'm telling you. Stop sticking them in the middle, Jeff. I'm trying to figure out how to rearrange it a certain way. Put that right there. Clip, clip, clip. Freaking clip it. Where's the needle? Where's the needle? You take these two legs. What? Dang it. Now my flowers is coming apart. Not something that I wanted. Oh! I'm really so sorry. I'm really so sorry too. But like I said, rearrange you your flowers up. and then according to how the way you want it. Right now all my little fake flowers are just coming apart and I don't like it. Cut more of these. Give me a second, Jaya. <laughs> I'll be right back because I got to clip all these tips off the flowers. Pause the video. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to turn the video on. But don't treat me because I ain't the florist. I don't know how to arrange flowers like that. I can sit in here for to what I thought would make sense. But I hope my grandmother liked it, though. And after a while, I did cut the stems off to try to make it look all pretty and nice and neat. But then I was like, the hell with it. I'm tired. I'm done with this project. <laughs> so, I start sticking the whole stems down at the bottom. So, like I said, I ain't the florist lady. I don't know how you're supposed to put these flowers or rearrange flowers. So, don't cheat me. Just, just, just say, like, at least she tried. That's all it matters. I tried. But I'm about to cut the tape off.
And then, like I said, the last thing that y'all want to do is the white part down here at the bottom. Just paint it black so that way nobody can see it. And then I'm going to take my roller color cutter. Try to cut it better than I did. Oh. Next time when I do a project like this again, I'm going to measure it. Cause I didn't do that. That would have been a smart idea to do. And then, you know, try to do everything. And place everything. Yep, I had to do it for so damn long now. Now this is going to take. Now I ain't got no scissors no more. Yeah, I do. No, I don't. I lied. 